Hello everybody, your buddy Chris here on a very, very special edition of this, whatever this is, this YouTube show. Uh, it is Vice Friday. You're catching a very, this is not, a, well, CTP from Barbell Shrugged is joining me. I'm going to make him a cocktail. Uh, he set this up very nice, but this is the actual cheat meal. Tonight, uh, you can see Hulk's holding um, Reese's peanut butter eggs since Easter time. I ate three of those earlier. Jesus, they were so good. Um, ben and Jerry's, because you... It's the only ice cream that I'll do randomly. Scotchy Scotch Scotch, a butterscotch Ron Burgundy theme. The new, people have been recommending it to me, this is the first time I've had it. The new Caramel Sutra Core Agalian Technology Futuristic, whatever. It's like multiple situations in one situation. Caramel, uh, chocolate fudge brownie. I think I'm gonna have two. You gonna have one CTP? One pint? Pull? I'll do one. I'm getting CTP involved. Also, and I'll probably get sweat under my eyes too. <laughs> ice cream sweats. Some pizza, CTP's got a gluten-free piece, but my wife and I, who's working the camera, we're going traditional thin crust pizza. So we've got plenty of calories here to go around. First, why do I do this? Because if you treat your cheat night like a ritual, if you make it very special, you get excited, if you get a t-shirt about it, hey, wink, wink. I'm I heard what you're going to do. It's uh, awesome. Awesome. Uh, if you make it a really big thing and you look forward to it all week long, you're very much less likely. I think, <clears throat> to eat like shit or to not train hard during the week. You want to feel good about earning that night and doing it right. Since you have a, you have a much more controlled situation, I think, on the remainder of the weekend and during the week. And these two energies balance themselves. You work really hard, you look forward to the ritual, you do the ritual, you look forward to the working hard, and you get better results. Anyway, that's enough of that. What I want to actually show you, I get requests a lot to know about the cocktail I make, which is the Corvette Summer, which I got from my man crush Josh Homme, who they, they drink nothing but uh, grapefruit Amazing juice. Stone Age. Grapefruit juice and tequila, but I took that very simple thing and made it a proper Corvette Summer. So let me show you what I do. First, first things first, red grapefruit, the sexiest, one of the sexiest fruits, this, what else? Mango, kiwi, they're all in that rarefied air of, of my preferred grapefruit. That's about two giant grapefruits worth. Uh, I've got a shaker full of ice. All the way to the top, listen to me. Listen to me, if you make a cocktail and you don't feel your cocktail shaker up ice, what are you doing? You're going to shake it up and it just turns into kind of cold cocktail. Plenty of ice. So what I'm going to do, oh, tequila, shit. This is just a Herradura. Don't forget that. It's very, I, I have actually never had a tequila I actually didn't like. I will drink cheap ass uh, Jose Cuervo Gold. I will drink Top Shelf and everything in between. I like it all, dude. Rob Wolf tweeted a link today saying that te tequila can be linked to uh, fat loss. So, shit. you're gonna cheat. <laughs> so, let me do this. So, I'm gonna put, how much tequila should you put? I'm telling you a minimum of two ounces. But really, you know you got it right if when you, you go to taste the drink, you, you think that maybe you put way too much tequila in it. That's, that's how you know you got it right. Red grapefruit juice over the top. Not quite all the way to the top, but cover the ice. I've got here my Alton Brown, my wife gave this to me years ago, I cherish it. My Alton Brown style sugar. Big pinch of salt. Uh, you can also do a little lime juice in there, CTP. You can sweeten it with a little agave. You could do, what else could you do? I mean, shit, you could put like orange juice. I like how you make it. Yeah, but that's it, man. The simpler you make it, the better, because the grapefruit juice is all the flavor you need. Top on, not too tight, or else, if you make this cocktail at a party for chicks, and you put that thing on too tight, and you shake it up, and you got them all, oh man, tequila, margarita time, and you can't get this fucking top off, you're going to be so embarrassed. So oh. Just, just kind of ease her on there. Just Pretty tight easy. You get a good shake. Now, when you shake things, you get cold as shit. You want it really, really crispy cold. Crispy, crispy. That's good enough. See? See? I was like, shit, it's not gonna open. Uh, pour that like so. Man, howdy, doody. CTP, they do the testing, man. Is that good? I'll do the job. All right, yeah, so what we're going you to said you know you put enough tequila in there if if it tastes like it's got a lot of tequila in it, or, or if your friend has to come pick you up. And you <laughs> yeah, there you go, I got it right. So what we're going to do is we're crush these pizzas, eat the ice cream, drink more ice cream, drink, and I'll probably and then probably podcast later. But hey, if you like this video, comment with questions. If you have uh, alternate recipes for this cocktail, I'd love to see them. I like, I'll take ideas. I like ideas. Share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Chaka Bras. Chaka Bras.